फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न हाउ टू सिंक्रोनाइज टू वी एफ टी यू कैन सी हियर वी इंक्रीजिंग स्पीड ऑफ स्लेव फर्स्ट पोर्ट एंड फर्स्ट ड्राइव स्पीड इंक्रीज एंड डिक्रीज अकॉर्डिंग टू स्लेव फर्स्ट पोर्ट नाउ वी इंक्रीज एंड डिक्रीज सेकेंड पोटेंशियो मीटर सो सेकेंड ड्राइव स्पीड इंक्रीज एंड डिक्रीज अकॉर्डिंग टू पोटेंशियो मीटर सो नाउ वी कंट्रोल बोथ ड्राइव मेनुअली Now, if you want to control both drive with single potentiometer, which is master potentiometer, we increase and decrease master potentiometer. So both drive speed increase and decrease at same time. You can see here. So in this video, we will learn how to do synchronizing connection and which parameter we need to set in drive for synchronization. So let's start video and first understand how to do synchronization connection. Now for setup, first we connect a slave first port. by slave first port we increase and decrease speed of first drive and for second drive we connect a slave two port and for both drive speed control we connect one master port by this master port we increase and decrease both drive frequency at same time i hope you clear the concept and for starting first drive we connect one selector switch when we start selector switch drive will run and for second drive we connect a second selector switch in this video we are going to learn connection in two wire mode now first learn connection of selector switch for a starting and a stopping drive so as we know in dynfos drive 12 number point 12 number point is for plus 24 voltage dc because we are doing connection in p and p mode so we connect one connector from 12 number point and we connect this connector to selector switch in this selector switch we connect an anno element when we selector rotate then supply will pass and output of this selector we connect to this connector and output of selector connect in digital input first which is 18 number point okay so when selector is on so our drive in running condition and also we will learn which parameter we need to set in drive for enable 18 number digital input now for second drive we need to do same connection 12 number point for plus 24 volt connect in selector switch output of this selector switch we connect in 18 number point which is digital input first so this is simple connection for drive enabling now before starting master port connection we understand port terminal first you need to identify which terminal for plus 10 volt which terminal for 0 volt and which is master port or potentiometer reference terminal so in this potentiometer first terminal for input 10 volt you can see here second terminal for 0 volt and last terminal for reference or 0 volt in this potentiometer you use potentiometer first identify terminal first in master port you can give connection from any of the drive in dynfos drive you can see here 50 number point for plus 10 volt 53 number point for analog reference input and 55 number point for ground so first we connect 15 number point in potentiometer input terminal now plus supply connect in master port now we need to connect 0 volt so for 55 number point 55 number point for 0 volt so we connect a 55 number connector in potentiometer you can see here now master port input connection is now done you need to do 10 volt and 0 volt from any of the drive okay so we connect a master port input supply now we need to give negative or 0 volt in both slave port and also in second drive okay so we connect a negative or 0 volt in slave first port now connect in 55 number point for second drive 0 volt now for slave port we connect 0 volt now our 0 volt connection is now done we connect a 0 volt in both slave port and second drive okay now when we rotate master port okay when we rotate master port both drive should increase so we connect a master port output or reference and connect this reference to both slave input terminal okay master port reference output we need to connect in both slave we need just we connect a slave first which is master port reference this connection also we connect in slave to input terminal okay so master port output we need to connect in both slave input terminal okay when we rotate master port both drive speed increase then decrease according to master port so connect a master port reference in both slave port input terminal okay connection is very simple now when we rotate slave first port so first drive should increase so slave first reference output we connect in 53 number point which is analog input reference 
So first slave port output we connect in 53 number of first drive. Now same connection for second port. Second port output connect in 53 number point. Okay. Connection is very simple. I hope you clear the concept. If you have any doubt, please pause the video and watch carefully. Master port output connect in both slave first and slave two and slave one output connect in drive input terminal 53 and slave two output connect in drive second terminal. I hope you clear the concept. Now learn which parameter we need to set for this connection. Okay, for synchronizing connection, we need to set some basic parameter. So for parameter setting, first we need to press menu button. Okay, we press menu button OM1 again press menu button zero group. First we need to enter in third group by increasing. Now enter third group press OK key. Now OK. First we set maximum and minimum frequency. So third group 0 2 parameter for minimum frequency 0 3 parameter for maximum frequency now you just need to set maximum and minimum frequency in both drive now because we control both drive frequency with potentiometer so just we need to set 15 parameter third group 15 parameter just one because we're increasing motor frequency with potentiometer so for potentiometer analog reference we need to set one in both drive okay now for 18 number and digital input first because for drive is starting we use 18 number point for so we need to program 18 number point for 18 number parameter we just need to enter in fifth group 10 parameter okay fifth group 10 parameter we set 8 okay so 10 parameter for 18 digital input and we set 8 for a start command okay just a start command so 18 number digital input for program start rotation so i hope you clear the concept of synchronizing connection and parameter setting for today's enough we'll meet next video